Mark, he is accused of putting vulnerable people in danger. City News has done many investigative stories on the man who was convicted of operating illegal group homes in Toronto. And we have now learned he's been trying to use the pandemic to stay in business. It is a normally quiet street in Oshawa, but neighbours say their peace has been shattered. It's a huge safety issue for this neighbourhood. There's children that, that actually wait on the bus stop there, that right on the corner. Um, they were constantly getting uh, yelled at or asked for cigarettes. This four-bedroom residence has been used as an illegal group home for the past year. Neighbours believe up to 15 people have been living there, many with mental health issues. The operator is Winston Manning, seen here at the home this week, a man who has a long history with authorities. Can I ask you some questions? Winston, I understand somebody died here two weeks ago. In 2016, Manning was a key figure in an OPP investigation that found people with physical and mental health issues living in deplorable conditions. Inadequate food, mouse feces, the smell of urine. Close to two years ago, he pled guilty to multiple fire code violations in relation to several illegal Toronto group homes. That's when it's believed he moved to Oshawa. It literally looks like an abandoned shelter. Manning rented this home about a year ago from this woman who asked us not to reveal her identity. She says she thought a family was moving in and says her home was practically brand new inside. But look at the photos she has taken of it now. There's mouse feces droppings, there's bed bug powder, there's evidence of bed bug infestation to the point where the bed bugs are on the wall. Even worse is the lock on the fridge door and what she says one of the tenants told her. There was one gentleman that was explaining to me that the food had been so stale uh, that there was maggots in his meal. And because he had been so hungry and there was a limited amount of options, he kind of just scraped it to the side and continued to eat. Neighbours have told City News tenants would knock on their door asking for food. They are some of society's most vulnerable who have nowhere else to go. Cracks in the system and the lack of long-term care provides a devastatingly steady supply. Officials believe Manning collects their government checks and charges them $1,000 a month for this. We were able to reach him on the phone, but he wouldn't comment on the allegations. I understand you've still been operating an illegal group home. In Oshawa, you Ms. Mulligan, at this time, at this time of the year when there's COVID going on, you're still calling to arrest people, Ms. Mulligan? I'm not calling to arrest Ms. Mulligan, you should you. be ashamed of yourself. Two weeks ago, Manning used COVID-19 as a reason not to be evicted during a virtual court hearing. But just this week, the court ruled, quote, a real and urgent threat to vulnerable residents outweighed even the threat of the pandemic. He has to leave by May 16th. Manning and his company, Comfort Residential Homes, each face 15 fire code violations. Now, these court records show the prosecutor is asking for jail time. The maximum is a year. As for the vulnerable tenants, the eviction notice, that's it actually here, states the homeowner has to alert agencies who will help them find safer housing. But obviously their fate is a huge concern, especially now.